University. And uh, uh, it seems that uh, he was a very, very unusual kind of individual, an unusual kind of leader, and uh, somehow provided an extra kind of motivation. What was it, in, in looking back over it now, as a coach uh, for the women's strike team now, in a real sense, occupying his position, what was it that made him, uh, his regime, so important to you? I think that he just kept it real. You know, he, he, he let you know what he expected, mm -hmm. and that was it. You mm -hmm. knew from the start that this is what he expects. Mm -hmm. And I guess everybody just wanted to make sure that we mm -hmm. lived up to that reputation. And we had some shoes to follow, mm -hmm. because Wilma Rudolph, Juan Matthias, mm -hmm. Edith McGuire, um, May Fags, all those big names that came through here, mm -hmm. and we wanted to do what they did. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to live up to not only Coach Temple and what he expected, mm -hmm. but the other Tiger Bells that had paved the mm -hmm. way for mm -hmm. us. And I think, uh, uh, Coach, uh, oftentimes uh, you respond to in your telephone uh, recorder by saying that the uh, Tennessee State University Tiger Bells, uh, the number one uh, track team in the OVC for outdoors. What, what, what are you saying here? Well, uh, on last year, we were the OVC outdoor mm -hmm. champions. Mm -hmm. So we're just putting that on the telephone mm -hmm. to let the people know mm -hmm. that um, we are the reigning outdoor champions. And so yes. the uh, Tiger Bells, as a team, is still doing the same thing in terms of its exports and et cetera. Talk about your team now. Well, um, this year, um, like I said, we won the OVC championship outdoors. We took second place indoors mm -hmm. on, on last year, and uh, now we're into a new season. Mm -hmm. Everybody returned except one player, so mm -hmm. we're expecting to do a repeat. Mm -hmm. That's our goal for this year. Um, we expect to be in the top three. Mm -hmm. I have a really good team. On last weekend, we had a uh, Ed Temple Classic yeah. mm -hmm. here at the um, indoor facility, the mm -hmm. Gentry Complex. Mm -hmm. Also, we had a Tiger Bell reunion. Mm -hmm. So we had um, um, Edith McGuire mm -hmm. was here, Lucinda Williams, mm -hmm. Joanne Terry, a lot of Olympians mm -hmm. were here on campus mm -hmm. at Tennessee State. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a really good time. And then on Sunday, we closed it off with a big track meet, and mm -hmm. the women are running well. Mm -hmm. We just hope that everyone will stay healthy and um, mm -hmm. do what they need to do. Now, how <clears throat> do the young players react to uh, some of these old names that you've mentioned? Uh, I mean, wh wh what, is, wh what is their attitude in reference well, to um, who they are and where they are? They know who they are because mm -hmm. as freshman young ladies, mm -hmm. I make every freshman do a book report mm -hmm. on a living Tiger Bell. Mm -hmm. So they know who the Tiger Bells are mm -hmm. because we will keep that tradition alive. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want anyone to come in here and not know a Tiger Bell mm -hmm. or not know who Wilma Rudolph is or mm -hmm. Edward Temple. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I'm keeping that alive by doing a book report. Mm -hmm. The young ladies have to do a book report. They have to stand up before the group mm -hmm. and report it, read it. Mm -hmm. They have to do a telephone interview mm -hmm. with the Tiger Bell. Mm -hmm. And on this weekend, they were excited to know that this is the person I interviewed on the telephone. Mm -hmm. Madeline Manning was here. Mm -hmm. She gave the young ladies a... Um, um, a motivational speech talk mm -hmm. before the track meet, and that really got them going. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the Olympic torch also came through uh, Nashville doing uh, quite recently, did it not? Yes, it did. And you were you and your group. I think you were all involved in that. Well, talk about um, we we first of all I was involved with the um, 96, 90, 94, mm -hmm. ninety six Olympic mm -hmm. torch mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I took part in that running the torch mm -hmm. through the TSU campus mm -hmm. and then the 2000 torch 2001 torch came through for the winter games mm -hmm. we um, the, the torch started at TSU campus mm -hmm. ran through the campus we had a display down at the riverfront with mm -hmm. uh, the Tiger Bells pictures mm -hmm. hanging up just doing mm -hmm. a display of the Tiger mm -hmm. Bells mm -hmm. yes and so Tennessee State University has a, a real Olympic tradition I mean it's uh, the in terms of uh, being able to talk about the number of medals and what, talk about some of those medals and some of the Tennessee things Tennessee State history and um, Olympic competition, we have 40 athletes have come from Tennessee State to participate in the Olympic Games. 23 medals, gold medals, I believe it was 14 bronze and maybe eight uh, silver, something mm -hmm. like that. I'm not sure mm -hmm. the numbers and Coach Simple can tell you those numbers, mm -hmm. but um, we do have a, a rich history in Olympic competition mm -hmm. Some, the medal count, we know that uh, mm -hmm. some countries have not won mm -hmm. medals like mm -hmm. we've won at Tennessee mm -hmm. State. So mm -hmm. 
we, we plan to keep that tradition going. We have mm -hmm. not done that yet, but I think the first step we have done is to win the OVC. Mm -hmm. And then, then from there, NCAA, mm -hmm. international, and then national And so that's the kind of level of competition that you generally think about when you're trying to move back toward the Olympics, that you have to try to do it on the local level, <coughs> and then you move on up farther, and Correct. eventually you set your sight. Yes. And you do see uh, yourself going back as a coach. Oh, yes. And emulating uh, Coach Temple and, and taking his group there, you see yourself there with the next Well, I won't say that I'm going to take a whole slew because th mm. that is something hard to do. Yeah, I would imagine. So, and of course, Coach, let, let's uh, stop this for uh, okay. a short commercial break, and after which we'll come back and okay. give you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome back to this final segment of the show for today. Uh, the topic is a profile on Chandra Cheeseboro, the senior coach of the women's track team at Tennessee State University. And of course, uh, Coach Cheeseboro, during the last uh, six minutes that we have here, let's give you an opportunity to uh, talk about some of the things that you believe that our audience ought to know, uh, not only about you, but about uh, the uh, athletic team uh, at, that you are now uh, coaching at Tennessee State University. Um, at Tennessee State, we have a, a really good program this year. The young ladies, I have um, six seniors, mm -hmm. um, a really good captain, a, a local girl, Nashville, Tennessee, that has been doing a great job with the team, leading mm -hmm. the team. So my job is pretty easy. You know, mm -hmm. all I have to do is tell them what they need to do, and mm -hmm. they carry it out. And um, it's been a long, hard road to get that, mm -hmm. but now I have it in place. I'm not going to let it go. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was saying that... Um, my goal and my yeah. dream is to go to the Olympic Games and be the Olympic coach one day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to be the Olympic coach in 2008 mm -hmm. in China. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that is my desire. Mm -hmm. And I know I will because I've been on international teams mm -hmm. and I'm working my way up the ladder. I'm doing mm -hmm. the, the things that you know, need to be done to be appointed mm -hmm. for that position. Mm -hmm. So it will be soon. I don't know mm -hmm. how soon, but... Um, Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, uh, <coughs> that would help your entire team, would it not, uh, oh, to yes. simply have you in that uh, very, very position? I think it's, it's something mm -hmm. that they can brag about, but their mm -hmm. coach being the Olympic coach. And um, I, I, I pray that it would be a motivation for them to mm -hmm. want to make the team mm -hmm. and say that they were on the same team that the coach is coaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, Coach, I think you uh, started a statement uh, before we had our commercial break that we interrupted but uh, to talk about the uh, whole process of recruiting people for uh, the Tiger Bells now compared to uh, perhaps when you were recruited or when Wilma was recruited and the difficult problems in terms of, go on, talk about it. Well, um, I, we were talking about how um, me following Coach Temple's footstep and putting uh, girls on the Olympic team, mm -hmm. um, that's not hard to do but it will be hard to put those numbers mm -hmm. to have a relay team with four Tennessee State women because um, the student athlete now have an opportunity to mm -hmm. go to any college in you know, the United States. Mm -hmm. And um, back in the day, as they say, mm -hmm. um, Tennessee State was the college to go to, mm -hmm. but now student athletes can pick and choose where they want to so the talent is spread it out. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very difficult in recruiting today, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the top student athletes. And I would imagine that uh, <clears throat> some of these student athletes uh, uh, come very, very expensive to the university, which is to say that while you're not uh, really paying them in a real sense, that there are some inducements that universities, or some universities have that perhaps other universities don't Might have. Is that, have. Is yeah, that, that would is that be correct. a correct statement? Yes. Uh, wh what do you think that you need uh, personally for your program at Tennessee State University to uh, uh, keep you on the road that you are, are trying to uh, reach dealing with going back to the Olympics? I mean, what, what kind of support do you think that I, you need? Well, I believe that we need the local support, you know, mm -hmm. and, and just maintain the support that we have within the university mm -hmm. along with the president and, mm -hmm. and the athletic director. They do give me support. And if they just keep pushing that and mm -hmm. um, an assistant coach, mm -hmm. those things will help, you mm -hmm. know, us mm -hmm. to get a good recruiting base, you know, young ladies to come in and, and sell our program, mm -hmm. yes. And, and, and so uh, you feel that you have the support that is necessary in order to uh, accomplish some of the things that you're trying to, to at this particular level? We still can use a little more, uh -huh. but um, we do have support. Uh -huh. But um, 
you can always use, you know, a lot mm -hmm. more, but um, mm -hmm. it's going well at this point. You know, and, and, and we've got about two minutes here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, let's have you uh, to uh, speak to uh, our audience this morning about uh, what you uh, epitomize more than anything, and that is success. What does it take in order to be successful uh, that when you talk to your uh, members of your squad, and et cetera, what are some of the things that you tell them that they have to do in order to be successful? Well, my thing, you know, first of all, you got to want to be mm -hmm. a Tennessee State Tiger Bell. Mm -hmm. That's the first part mm -hmm. because I, I feel like if you're not happy at Tennessee State, you're not going to give me 100%. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we want to make sure that you're happy. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing, what is your level of winning? Where do you want to go with this? How can I help you to meet your goals? Mm -hmm. And uh, on my way in, I was reading the goals. I make them do uh, weekly goals mm -hmm. on the track meet. Mm -hmm. and, and then that should meet their overall goal. Mm -hmm. So I have to know what are you trying to get so mm -hmm. I'll know how to come at you and how to administer mm -hmm. in what you want. Mm -hmm. So you have to set goals. You have to have that desire to win. Mm -hmm. So my thing is I keep encouraging them to you know, meet the, the mm -hmm. short-term goals, mm -hmm. then their long-term goals will be there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that'll be that, and that's all part of what you consider to be uh, uh, the way to bring them to reach the goals yes. that you personally have already set in terms of your well, own Well, that would definitely meet mm -hmm. the team goals because mm -hmm. we know that the team wants to win the mm -hmm. OVC championship again. Mm -hmm. So if everybody meet their own individual goals, mm -hmm. then the team goal Go. to take care mm -hmm. of itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. And of course, uh, 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 Coach Cheeseboro, let me thank you uh, during the last uh, <coughs> half minute that we have here for coming by and giving us that profile information. Uh, as we said before, you are internationally and nationally known, uh, but in terms of some of the things that you've talked about here today, a lot of folks don't know uh, the impact that uh, Coach Temple, even though certainly they I know that uh, he, sh he would have to have had a great impact up on you, but I think that you revealed to us a lot of information this morning, and we thank you for that. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Cummings. Thank you, and good morning.